The rivals of Ether community hate Ronald McDonald. Why do people hate Ronald McDonald? Why do people like Ronald McDonald? These are the things we're going to discuss if you've been playing Workshop Rivals in recent times. You basically can't not have heard about Ronald McDonald. An interesting thing has happened kind of in the Rivals community, there has been a divide. It really isn't Ronald's fault. I just want to say that straight up. The community doesn't actually hate specifically Ronald, but Ronald is basically the face of like this ongoing kind of conflict, I guess. It's, just, it's making it sound way more dramatic than it actually is. But yeah, let's go into why do people not like Ronald? What did, what did he do? So, if you search Rivals of Ether on YouTube, you can notice that every YouTuber has some video on Ronald. I myself am guilty of this because when Ronald came out, it was a pretty ridiculous thing. It was, uh, he's a clown. He's a crazy clown for McDonald's. But more of the issue is what ended up happening is the fact that all we're getting is Ronald. Like, all we got for a good while is just Ronald, Ronald, Ronald. Golden Ronald. Hey, you know, they, Ronald has a golden skin. He's even stronger. Cosmic Ronald. Ultra Instinct Ronald! <laughs> And then the, herein lies the problem, is that I think just a lot of people are just sick of it. There's like infinite possibilities with the workshop. There's so many different things that can be done, that can be shown off. But for whatever reason, it's Ronald. <laughs> the same thing, exact thing is also happening with the 100% characters. We had our 100% accurate Fox, and then Falco, and then Wolf, and Joker, and all these different things. 200% accurate, 1000% accurate, 1 million percent accurate, Ultra Instinct, yada yada. The main issue with this is it's all the same joke. It's basically these characters were created by a few people. People. And then a lot of these copycat people are like, oh, well, let me just steal it. Let me just do the same thing. And also on top of all of this, it's not even an original joke. Ronald comes from Mugen. Rivals just can't have anything of its own. We copy Smash. We copy Mugen. Rivals can't even have its own memes. And I just like to point out, I saw all of this coming. You're just gonna see a bunch of garbage, right? People are gonna put in a bunch of work in progresses and OCs that no one's gonna give a shit about. I'm sorry, no one cares about your OC. Wow, my beard looked real bad there. Part of this is just human existence, right? It's just the way people work. When someone sees something funny, they just wanna participate and they just wanna continue the joke, even though part of what makes something funny is the brevity of it, the fact that it, you know, it's short, it's quick. Ronald McDonald, haha, I got it. Moving on. Obviously, people don't wanna move on. They wanna cash in on it or just, you know, they wanna have fun too, right? It's it, to not look at it in a negative way. And then with YouTube, YouTube works almost the exact same way as Workshop. Someone makes like a really popular Ronald video. Well, now everybody else is like, well, if I make a Ronald video, I'm gonna get in their recommended. The alg algorithm's gonna select me for there. So bam, I'm also popular. <laughs> really, if I was a better YouTuber, I would've cashed on this much harder. I feel like I've already missed out on it because here I am deconstructing it. And looking back at like Mugen, I don't know anything about the Mugen community, but if I were, if I was a gambling man, I would wager that Mugen Mugen has dealt with this exact same issue a long ass time ago. Again, I don't know anything about Mugen, but what I do know are the meme characters, right? Like when I think Mugen, you know, I think about like Homer Simpson and Peter Griffin and all, you know, all these different nonsense characters. Cause that's, that's what's famous. That's what trickles out. Like no one's gonna remember random Japanese named character who's real deep and has all these cool mechanics and everything. Nobody's gonna pay attention to that. Cause it's not funny. Probably a really good character somewhere, random Japanese name, probably really well made and should be included in talked about but clown go ha ha Ronald is essentially in a like like items. You know, you play Smash with someone who's not into it competitively. They're gonna be like, why are you turning items off? It's a funny game where you goof around and you're obviously not very good. And Ronald like kind of continues that spirit of it's just, it's absolutely ridiculous. And so because Ronald was so early, like I said before, he's, he's basically the representative of workshop memes. In fact, like Ronald's such a force that it feels like, like there's so many meme characters out there that just like aren't even getting covered because of Ronald. It's like I had to pick between Shrek and Ronald. I'm glad it's Ronald. This is the way casual things work. Otherwise they wouldn't be casual. The idea is it's approachable by everyone, right? Nobody's gonna understand what the hell Eliana's doing or what any of the base rivals cast is doing but they see Ronald McDonald they can understand it on a different level than it being a fighting game they see a clown throwing burgers what's there not to understand about Ronald and so because of this it's obviously more popular because more people understand what the hell's happening right like deep characters that are complex aren't going to be understood by everyone because that is the exact nature of the whole point of it being deep it takes time and effort to get into these characters and Ronald takes no effort because you get it right on the surface 
actually disagree with this, but it is something I see a lot of creators say. And I think, you know, it's people are just jealous of Ronald. <laughs> And the fact that this character is popular and stuff like that. That's just like the struggle of rivals in and of itself when you think about it, which is, it's kind of funny that it's like a microcosm. Rivals is a less popular game because it's less casual. And Workshop is really like Dan's main answer to make this like a casual game. And so <laughs> it being the most popular aspect of the game, people getting angry at it, it's like, what did you think was gonna happen? <laughs> that was the whole point. Bringing it back to Mugen, like I guarantee you that there were people in the Mugen community, not that I actually know, but I, I just would wager though this is just how humans work is that there are people that are like hey we wanted this well-rounded fighting game where you could put in really cool characters and then people started putting memes stuff until eventually just took over right and that that mugen is like essentially a meme to most people and so i think the exact same fate is inevitably going to happen to Workshop. But does that mean there's no room for all these well-made characters? No, I think like all of the really well-made characters have surfaced. They just surface to a smaller group of people because that's just how competitive nature works. It, it all boils down to competitive versus casual at the end of the day. What is my point in all this? Just to all like the Workshop people and to anyone that's like, oh, you know, Ronald's getting in the way, such and such, 100% accurate Fox, yada, yada, all these meme characters get in the way. They're not getting in the way. It just, it is what it is. Like if anything, people should be happy that Ronald does exist, that Rivals has gotten all this exposure because of the memes. At least some people who would not have discovered Rivals beforehand might see like, oh, Ronald's funny. Let me check out this game. And then they might end up seeing your dumb furry <laughs> OC. <laughs> I know I say dumb, but obviously I really like these characters. I'm in like a strange position because it's like I have kind of a foot in both worlds. Like even as a YouTuber, I feel like a lot of my audience is like super competitive, but at the same time, it's also a lot of casual people. Like, I mean, all I'd ever do is just goof around. When you really think about it, Smash is as popular a game as it is because of all the casual stuff. That's how I think all of us wanted to play it. It was because, oh, it's got Mario. Oh, it's got Pikachu. Oh, it's got whatever. Like this is the stuff that draws it in. And obviously only a select few people end up staying for like the competitive reasons. Oh, turns out I can do all this cool shit that I didn't realize I even liked. And so Ronald is just a continuation of that idea. Don't deride YouTubers if they're covering Ronald because that's just gonna make them not wanna cover our game. Instead, be positive. Share characters that are also really cool and maybe they'll check it out, but also don't be obnoxious about it because then that's also gonna make people just like not wanna care. So, what does this all mean? Nothing, it's a video game. I'm talking about a clown. I'm talking about McDonald's mascot. But hey, what I wanted to do at the end of this, after this little discussion, be nice, don't be mean, yada yada, whatever. I'm also gonna share some characters, I think. You know, a positive note, here's some really cool characters if some other YouTubers are watching this, which they're not. You know, hey, maybe take a break from Ronald for one video and do this. Or maybe do this video, this character versus Ronald. I don't know what to tell you. But I've got a couple of characters I just want to shout out that I think are on the level of the complexity and nonsensical nature that Ronald kind of offers. This character is the only character I would say that is actually too deep. Wizard, the creator, really outdid themselves in capturing the whole like combination magical system of the Magicka Wizard. It's wild. You can literally, there's like, I don't know how many combinations there are. There's so many different things you can do. This character on the surface just seems like, oh, damn, this is just the dumb furry OC. Well, this isn't going to get me YouTube views, but change that CPU level and you're just in for the unexpected journey of magical discovery. It's a boss fight and it's unlike any other boss fight in Rivals of Ether. This character really pushes like what's possible in the workshop. You can do it passively. You can... It's, it's like under, you can talk to the bot and you have an insane fight. I still have not yet seen a boss fight in Rivals that matches this. It's really cool, so there's phases, there's a whole bunch of stuff. And you know, the actual character is really cool too. Just to shout out some actual, just regular competitive style OCs, Mycolic, Otto, and Uza. These are three really just well-rounded, really deep characters. My college is like this really complicated mushroom character, but he's so dope. He's probably like maybe my new favorite OC. He is like really hard to play, but like the the sprites, the animations are so cool and all the moves are just like so clever. But hey, if you want like a more normal Smash type experience, if you're like, I really like Pac-Man, but I also really like Wario, then that's auto for you. He's got a motorcycle, all right? He's got an awesome motorcycle. Need I say any more? He's got pool balls that do things. 
And then speaking of characters that have vehicles, Uza, created by Sideri. Creators have been working on really solid characters ever since the beginning. They've also made Zeta and Mayu. But anyway, Uza's really cool. It's the most recent one as the recording of this video. It's basically like a Hollow Knight-y, visually inspired looking thing. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Is it a mouse? Is it a rat? Is it it's some sort of creature? <laughs> this character has like a weird skateboard thing that's super cool and swords and I don't know. They're real cool. They got a lot of stuff going on. Ronald McDonald, good, bad, meh. My advice to everyone is just sit tight. Cool stuff will keep happening. Like there's so many awesome characters that have been made and it's not even out yet. Workshop's still in beta. There's so much time. There's so many, so many more possibilities. Like Ronald's not gonna be the be all end all of Workshop. There's plenty more nonsense and probably some other meme character that will come and replace it that everyone will hate next. So I look forward to that. See you on the flip flop.